Hi, I'm Paul Wilson, creator of The Body Swing and the director of the Paul Wilson Golf School at Bears Best Las Vegas. In this backswing tip, I'm talking about your shoulder coil and how simple it is to get to 90 degrees. All right, so hopefully you enjoy this tip. If so, give me a thumbs up, click on the red button to subscribe to my channel, then click on the bell so you're notified when I post new tips, and please tell all your friends about my tips. You know, there's a lot of other people out there that need help too. So in this tip, I'm talking about the amount of shoulder coil in your swing. So a lot of people, you know, they want more distance and that's great to get more distance. A big part of it is, you know, you got to have enough coil. So, you know, there's a lot of, you know, senior golfers, people that are tight, you know, people that are maybe going a little bit sideways going back. All of these things are hampering the amount of shoulder coil into the backswing. So ideally, we're trying to get approximately 90 degrees shoulder rotation by the time we hit the top of the swing. Some people will be a tiny bit less, you know, if you're tight. Some people will be a little bit more. Maybe you're 95 degrees because you're more flexible. Great. But a lot of people I see are not even close to coiling enough. All right, and that is really costing a lot of distance. So like I said, person is tight, okay? They get to like 70 degrees, okay? Person is moving sideways. So if you're going sideways, the shoulder is not coiling, okay? So what I want to explain here is how simple this shoulder move actually is. If you are doing your setup like this, okay, and I'm trying to get you to 90 degrees, how much did my lead shoulder move there? Well, it's this much. What's that? Maybe just over a foot? So watch, here's my shoulder. That's it. That's how simple this is, right there. Okay, to 90 degrees. That's all you gotta do. And that's why I'm explaining this, because if it is that simple, anyone should be able to get to 90 degrees. Okay, so that's what you do. You just stand here like this, just kind of stand vertically and just, you know, put your fingers on your shoulder like this. Just kind of go like that. Okay, how far are you coming around? All right, so if you coil back and you can easily do this, get it to around 90 degrees, great. Now, if you coil back and you're like getting kind of tight in here, yeah, see, I'm, I'm not really that far. That's maybe 60 degrees or so. Okay, so what I want you to do is maybe lift your forward heel a little bit. Okay, so right here, the forward heel, just lift it maybe two or three inches and then when you do, you'll be able to feel that 90 degree shoulder rotation. Okay, so that's the concept. If I can get you to coil a little bit more, you're going to do a little bit more backswing, more backswing, fire the lower body. We've got a little bit more time to generate some more club head speed. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not wanting you to do this. Okay, we're not you know, lifting too much. We're allowing the forward heel to come off the ground a little bit to get us closer to 90 degrees. All right, now also make sure that when you, your shoulder's coming around like this, see I'm feeling this right here, pull my hips into position. So I start the, see my hips aren't moving that much right now, but in that last little bit, that's where I feel my hips get pulled to 45 degrees. All right, so this or your shoulders move the most at 90 degrees. So let your shoulders pull your hips to 45 degrees. Okay, so we're starting from the top and working down. But this is just an easy little way to do this, okay? Just get a feel for it and think, okay, I only have to move the shoulder from literally there to there to get a 90 degree shoulder rotation. 
Like really, how hard can that be, right? So you go like that. Oh, okay. It's not, you know, I could go a little more. Lift my heel. Yep, there it is. Got it. Okay, so you get the feeling of lifting the heel. Then we're going to apply that to our shot. So right here, just let your heel come up a little bit. Then you've got a little more backswing. Club will get to around parallel. Now we've got more time to generate the speed. If you go like this, you know, and you're only doing this little three-quarter backswing, you know, are you really going to hit it that far doing a, like a three-quarter backswing? Yeah, probably not. Okay, so now, if you're someone that moves their shoulders like this, okay, and this is how, what you want to do in a mirror, too. You want to be looking for this. So right here, if you go like this and move sideways, you're going to see that this shoulder is stuck. Okay, so you need to not go down with the shoulder. You need to feel the shoulder going around. Okay, we're going to coil more around to get the shoulder to get to 90 degrees. You go sideways like that, I don't even think you can get it to 90. All right, so once you start getting a little more rotational, that will give you a lot more power as well. So you're going to go from this, okay, see, stuck right here, kind of sideways here, to this, around and around. A little bit more circular. So let me do it from here. If you go like this, kind of sideways, okay, that's not going to be good. If you're here and you kind of go around, now you're getting the coil. Now, don't get me wrong, your shoulders aren't level. Your shoulders are tilted because you're tilted. So if I'm already tilted, I just have to coil my shoulders and they will be tilted because I'm tilted <laughs> in the beginning. All right, so you don't have to feel the shoulder go down. You got to feel your shoulders go around. Once you get that more coil, of course, you set a better backswing. From there, we're going to fire our lower body and let our arms just go, okay? We are not trying to hit the ball hard with our arms. So if you know anything about what I teach, I'm teaching you a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So I don't want you up there trying to hit, okay? We're just creating a little more coil to generate a little more speed to then hit the ball a lot longer, okay? So make sure you check the shoulder. If you got to lift the heel a little bit, I'm okay with it. I truly hope you've enjoyed this tip. You know, I've been teaching a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing now since 1991. If you'd like to learn this type of swing, then head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you some free samples of my Body Swing book and video series that take you step by step by step through how to build a powerful, effortless, pain-free golf swing. So once again, head on over to bodyswing.com slash free samples, click the link up here or in the description below, and I'll send you the free samples right away.